So in this video, we are going to learn how to share new Trade India lead details on Telegram with team. Let's say you are using Trade India as a platform to get some new leads for your products or services which you are selling online. Now you want that whenever you get a new lead, you want to share the details of that lead on your Telegram group or your Telegram channel with your team members so that you can update your team with the lead details as well. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new lead will be received in Trade India, Automatically with the same details, we are going to send a message and the lead details on our Telegram group and share it with our team members. Now, if you want to know how you can set up all of this automation by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Trade India account. Now I want that whenever I get a new lead in my Trade India account, automatically I want to share the details of that same lead with my team on my Telegram group as well. Now to do this, we have to connect Trade India with Telegram and we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, just go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabby.com slash connect. And here you can see we have reached to the landing page of Public Connect. Here you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Now if you are new to Pabli, just click on sign up free button and you can set up your free Pabli account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabli user, just click on sign in. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here you just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And as you click on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Trade India to Telegram. Then after that, just select the folder of your Public Connect account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. Now here you can see the automation workflow is open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our Trade India account with Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever we get a new lead in Trade India, automatically the details of the same leads are received inside our Pabli Connect workflow as well. And our automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Pabli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that new lead as a message on our Telegram group with our team members, just to update them. So let's see how it is done. Here in trigger window in choose app, search for Trade India and just select it. After selecting Trade India, in trigger event from this drop down, select the trigger event as capture leads. Then after that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Trade India account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the user ID, profile ID and key of our Trade India account. Now you must be thinking how you can get all of these details. So to get it, you just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Just go to your Trade India account and from the left sidebar, under Inquiries and Contact, click on My Inquiry API. After coming here, here you can see the user ID, profile ID and key of your Trade India account. Just copy the user ID from here, go to Public Connect and paste it over here. Then copy the profile ID as well and paste it over here too. And at last, we are going to enter the copy the key as well and paste it too. And after entering these details of your Trade India account, just click on save. And as you click on save, here you can see our Trade India account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, when we will click on this save and send test request button, you will get the details of the last lead, the most recent lead which we have received in Trade India. So let's click on save and send test request. And after that, here you can see we have received the response. And this response is of the most recent lead which I have received from my Trade India account. So here you can see we have the details like we have the subject line over here that what is the subject line of this inquiry which this lead has made. Then we have this sender UID, basically the unique ID of a lead. Then here you can see the state which they have entered while submitting the inquiry. We have the other mobile number of the lead. We have the name of the lead. After that here you can see the mobile number of the lead, the country and also the company name of the lead as well. At last here you can see the city that what is the city of the lead 
and after that here you can see some details of the receiver basically some details of our trade india account what is our reference id what is our unique id what is our account name what is our company name what is the phone number registered with our trade india account and all of that then after that here you can see the name of the product that for which particular product this lead has made the inquiry then we have the message from the lead whatever message they have entered while submitting the inquiry and at last we have the date and time that at what date and time this lead was generated this means the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully connected our trade india account with pavli connect and captured the details of a new lead from trade india in our pavli connect workflow in the trigger step now after this let's move to step 2 and in step 2 we want to send these details of a new lead received from trade india to our telegram group so that we can share these details with our team members for that we will just scroll down and come to this action step and here in choose app search for telegram just select it after selecting telegram bot in action event from the drop down select the action event as send a text message or reply then just click on connect and select add new connection now here it is asking us for the token so what we have to do first we have to create a bot in our telegram account and we have to connect that bot with pavli connect and add that same bot in our telegram group or telegram channel wherever we want to send the messages and after connecting that bot with pavli connect and adding that bot in our telegram group we can use that bot to send messages on our telegram group and share the lead details with our team members and to connect the bot, we have to enter the API token of the bot as well, which we are going to get when we create a new bot. So to get this token, first we are going to create a bot in our Telegram account. Now to create a bot, just go to your Telegram account and search for bot father. Just search for bot father with this official tech. Then just click on the start button and then we have to send a message as slash new bot because we want to create a new bot over here. Then this bot father is asking us a name for our bot. Let's say I want to name my bot as Trade India Automation. This is the name of the bot which I want to give Trade India Automation. So I'll just send it. After that, it is asking us for a username of the bot which should end with bot or underscore bot. So here what I'm going to do, I'll use the same name and add underscore bot after that Trade India Automation underscore bot. Let's send it. And yes, here you can see just now we have created a bot in our Telegram account. This is the bot over here. And here you can see as we click on this, here the bot is over here. Let's click on this start button. And this bot is active now. And here under bot father, after creating the bot, you can see the API token of this bot as well. Just copy the API token from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on save. And as we click on save, here you can see we have connected our Telegram bot with Pavli Connect. Now, after making this connection, we have to enter the chat ID over here. So in whatever Telegram group or Telegram channel, you want to send the new lead details from Trade India, we have to enter the chat ID of that Telegram group. And what we have to do, the bot which we have created, the bot which we have connected with Pavli Connect, we have to add the same bot in that Telegram group or Telegram channel, and we have to promote that bot to the admin of that group as well. So let me create a new Telegram group over here. I'll just search for the same bot over here, Trade India Automation Bot, which we have created just now. And after that, using this bot, I'm going to just name this group as Trade India Leads. This is the name of the group which I'm giving. You can basically give any other name of your choice or add the Telegram bot in your existing group as well. Now let's create this group over here. So just now what we have done, we have created a group in our Telegram account. And we have added the same bot in that Telegram group as well. Now what we have to do, we have to promote this bot to the admin of this group as well. So I'm going to use my Telegram mobile application or Telegram desktop application to promote this bot to the admin of the group as well. And it is done. So just now I have promoted this bot to the admin of this Telegram group. And after that, after opening this group here in the URL section, you will get this chat ID. This is the chat ID of our Telegram group. So we just have to copy this chat ID from here and paste it over here. So just enter the chat ID of the Telegram group in which you want to send the message. Then it is asking us for the text message that what is the actual message you want to send. Let's say I want my message to be hello team. Hello team, we have received a new lead in Trade India. 
and then I want to send these details of a new lead name, mobile number, product and address. So we have received all of these details of a new lead of Trade India in our trigger step in our automation workflow. So what we have to do from trigger step responses, one by one, we have to map all of these details, all of these responses into this telegram action step in the text message field. So let's say in this message field, I want to map the name of the person in front of name. So what we are going to do, just click here and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead which we have received from Trade India in our public connect workflow in the trigger step. You can see all of those responses over here. And from here, we are going to map the response of the lead over here. And after that, in front of mobile number, we are going to use the same process of mapping and map the mobile number. Then we are going to map the response of product name. So here is the product name. Let's search for the response of product name and map it. And at last, we have to map the address. So first, we are going to map the response of city. Then I'm going to add a comma. Then we are going to map the response of state. And then let's map the country as well. In this way, if you want, you can basically create any message of your choice and map any details of the lead which you want to share with your team members over here in this text message field. After creating the message of your choice, it is asking us message thread ID and reply to message. So both of these fields are not mandatory or not required. So we are going to ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us disable notification, disable web page preview, allow sending without reply and protect content. So you can basically select any option as per your choice for these fields as well. Then here in pass mode, we have two options, HTML and Markdown. I'm going to select HTML as the pass mode for now, but you can select Markdown or HTML as per your choice. Now, if you want to send a quick reply button or redirect button in the message as well, which you are sending on Telegram group, you can enter the details of the button as well. Just enter the button name over here and the link which you want to redirect to or take the people to on clicking on that button, you have to enter that link over here. But right now, I don't want to add any button with these messages. So we are just going to keep these two fields as blank for now. And after creating the message and entering the chat ID and mapping all the details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created with the lead details, this message is now sent on our Telegram group, the same group whose chat ID we have entered over here. So let's check it. We will go to our Telegram account. And yes, on the same group, we have this message sent by the same bot which we have connected with Pavli Connect. Hello team, we have received a new lead in Trade India. We have the same name of the lead which we have received from Trade India. We have the same mobile number, same product and the same address as well. This means the automation workflow between Trade India and Telegram which we have created using Pavli Connect. This automation is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to capture a new lead in Trade India, automatically with the same details, we are going to send a message on our Telegram group and share that new lead details with our team members over there. Now let me tell you one important thing that the connection between Trade India and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pavli Connect will check for new leads in our Trade India account every eight hours. But if you want, you can just reduce this time of polling from eight hours up to 10 minutes by contacting Pavli Connect support team. So after that, Every 10 minutes, Pavli Connect will check for new leads in Trade India, get the details of the new lead which we have received and using this automation, we are going to send those new lead details as a message on our Telegram group or our Telegram channel and share the details with our team members. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.